It's on Fox 4 News at 10. How would you like to be able to search for animal abusers in your community online the same way you can for someone that abuses a child? Well, in some parts of Florida, this is already happening thanks to a new law, and it's quickly gaining popularity. Four in your corner is Michael Cadigan looking into whether databases like this could be coming to southwest Florida. Michael, what'd you find out? Amy, the animal abuse registry isn't just for someone looking to sell or have their dog or cat adopted. Pet owners in Hillsborough County are actually using the database to check out the people living in their own backyards. Some of these barks coming from dogs who've been hurt by people. We certainly see some animals from um, neglectful or abusive situations. It's up to people like Laura Brown from the Animal Refuge Center in North Fort Myers to make sure the pets in their care don't wind up back where they started. To have a more formal approach to being able to get some background on potential adopters and have a more open dialogue among the shelters in town um, so we can really be sure that we're getting animals like Rowena adopted into safe loving homes. A new law might just be what shelters need to make finding safe forever homes happen. It requires people convicted of animal abuse to register just like sex offenders. Dog owners loving the possibility of the law making its way to this part of the state. 100 percent. Great idea. I, uh, I, I put animal abusers in the uh, same category as, well, bullies and who likes a bully. This is Hillsborough County's animal abuse registry site. You're able to search for specifics or just scroll down the list. Every individual should be able to know, just like child abusers, sex abusers, you should know who they are so you can avoid them. Four in your corner reaching out to see if and when animal abuse registries can make its way here. Collier County already has a reporting system in place, but it's not instant. You have to request the information. Leaders in Cape Coral, Estero, and Benita say they're aware of the law and like the idea, but don't have anything in place yet. They say it's up to the county to implement a database like this. Local animal lovers say they would do whatever it takes to make it happen. If I had to go down there and and, and plea for such a law I, or regulation, whatever it may be, I would, I would do so. Charlotte County also got back to me today. The animal control manager telling me they're exploring the possibility of using the animal abuse registry up in Charlotte. He says it's still in the infancy stage and hopes to submit the ordinance to the county attorney's office by mid-January. Michael Cadigan, Fox 4, in your corner.